Well, good morning, everybody. This is Brother Leslie Wiles, pastor, King James Bible Baptist Church, 1402 East Fulton Street, Garden City, Kansas. Amen. Under his wings. Amen. My soul shall safely abide with you forever, Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Welcome, everybody. It is Sunday, the 12th of December, the year of our Lord, 2021. And this is our Sunday morning sermon slash Bible study broadcast. Broadcasting live on Facebook right now and will be uploaded to the YouTube page as well. Welcome, everybody. Glad everybody's here. It's, it is Sunday morning. A lot of folks are in church right now in their various churches, and some are at home, and some are watching from all over. Welcome, everybody. Um, boy, has it been a week for me. Um, I don't know. You remember, folks, I um, I was sick about, oh, about a week and a half, two weeks ago, and I was out for about seven days, and, of course, I didn't make any pay at all, so so I didn't get much of a check, and um, and then I found out my secular job that I was no longer employed. <laughs> I'm no longer employed at my secular job, and that's what runs my ministry. So um, I ask for prayers for the Lord to um, to um, replace it with a better better job, something that I can still, you know, keep this ministry going. Uh, one thing about it, you know, I, that you know, I you know, I do have a GoFundMe, and I do take donations, but I work I work full time, and I have a ministry full time, and I enjoy it working and I enjoy you know taking care of business from both ends because you know man's got to work and I got no problem working you know things do happen though however and um, that's why I'm going to preach about God's provision in hard times and you know I preached this message before you know as a pastor and evangelist you know you come to me hey brother Leslie please pray for me I lost my job I've done this I've done that and I've been on both sides of the coin and the Lord has told me, I want you to preach this message today. And I go, what? I go, you preaching it today? I'll put the words in your mouth, son. You just do it. Because I want you and the rest of the world to hear what I have to say about provision. You know, friends, there's a lot of preachers out there. There's a lot of these, um, oh, these hucksters, you know. Oh, your best days now. You're going to be wealthy. You're going to do this. Just do this, do this, do that. And then, you know, I heard another one of these televangelists saying, oh, well, God ain't going to bless you or come until you give more money. And I'm just like, whoa. You know, there's a, there's a huge, um, there, there's an empty, there's a void right now. There are Bible-believing preachers and teachers and a missionary evangelists worldwide who are winning people to Christ who get virtually no funding because of, you know, folks like, you know, Osteen and the like, you know, and they, you know, nothing more than, you know, feel good speakers, you know, feel good speakers. And um, they don't preach the gospel. And it's because of that a lot of um, evangelists and pastors don't get the funding that they need. So just pray that God will work a work in, in evangelists and um, ministries nationwide. You know, right now, especially before the holiday, I'll tell you something, it's a rough deal, but that's the way it is. So I'm going to be preaching on that, so uh, better stay tuned. It's going to be a good one. Folks, I'm going to lift up some folks. You know, before we start this sermon, I'm going to lift up um, Pastor Brian Kelly, King James Bible Baptist Church, New York City, New York, uh, fighting a good fight. He um, was preaching down on 51st and Broadway for a while. He'd done that for years. The Paramount Company decided to declare war against his ministry, literally. And, you know, if you've been following anything of what's been going on, you know, he fought the good fight. They brought the power washers out. Of course, it's getting colder in New York. He's moved his ministry. He does take it to various places like the Bronx and so forth. And he was in Queens and he was in Brooklyn and looked like he had some pretty neat little places where he could, you know, have his service. Just pray for Brian Kelly that, you know, he's out there winning souls. Tens of thousands of New Yorkers he, he sees and talks to countless number of people his his um the preachers which i call the platoon that work with them they hand out countless numbers of gospel tracts 
these kind of the chick tracks now. Everything's backwards because I'm live right now on um, using the selfie camera. But it says the beast and it's a chick track and there's various other tracks like that. Pray for Brian Kelly. Also pray for Dan Price in North Texas. Um, he's King James Bible Baptist Church in North Texas and they're doing the street preaching and all. And um, just pray for him. He's got a lot going on. Um, there's a lot of things going on, you know, in the world right now. <clears throat> and, you know, being positive, you know, is, 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 is kind of hard. You know, seeing where the world is heading, it's understanding that, you know, we need to prepare for, um, if you're if you're not saved, if you're not a Christian, you need to get saved because tribulation is coming really soon. Really soon. This world is wicked and sinful. If you're a born-again believer, have faith. The Lord is coming. But I'm going to talk today about God's provision, and it is found in Luke chapter 12. So let's get started with a word of prayer, okay, folks? Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for your word. And Father, I just pray right now that you give me unction and anointing to preach and teach this word that it would go out and not come back void, that it would accomplish what you need accomplished. Lord, a lot of folks are hurting, and <clears throat> me included right now. But Lord, you want me to preach this message, and I'm going to do it, and I've done it before. Lord, you provide for all things. Lord, you know everything from the beginning to the end, front and back. And Father, we just pray that you'd open our minds and our hearts to your word. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Um, guys, you open up your King James Bible, and we're going to go to chapter 12. Now, if you don't have a King James, just get what you can follow along best you can, okay? And, you know, I'm, I'm glad you're here, okay? The main things we're getting, we're going to come together in fellowship, read and study God's Word. That, that's the key, so. All right, open it up to uh, chapter 12, Luke chapter 12. <clears throat> My voice is still a little shot from that from that chest infection. It's going to be a little bit, I guess, before I can get my singing voice back. <laughs> so, hear ye the word of the Lord from the King James Bible. This is the Lord Jesus Christ is speaking. And, um, you know, this is, you know, when he's telling his disciples to go out, go out and to share the faith and all. And, um, this is Jesus speaking, and this is very profound, very profound. If you're under the gun, you know, then you're lacking things, it's quite profound. And I've, I've leaned on the Lord. This is one of the scriptures. This is one of the things that in the past when I had problems, you know, I trusted the Lord. And, you know, this is, this is some of the scripture that helped me, and I hope that this will help you too. So here we go. And he said unto his disciples, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life what ye shall eat, neither for the body what ye shall put on. The life is more than meat, and the body is more than raiment. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, neither have a storehouse nor barn, and God feedeth them. How much more are ye better than the fowls? In which one of you with taken thought can add to his stature one cubit. If ye then be not able to do that thing which is least, why take ye thought for the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They toil not, and they spin not. Yet I say unto you that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If then God so clothed the grass, which is today in the field and tomorrow is cast in to the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O ye of little faith? And seek ye not what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, neither be ye of doubtful mind. For all these things do the nations of the world seek after, and your Father knoweth that ye have need of these things. But rather, seek ye the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell what ye have, and give alms. Provide yourselves bags which wax not cold, a treasure in the heavens that faileth not, where no thief approacheth, neither moth corrupteth. 
For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Amen. Wow. Boy, that's tough. It hits home. You know, the Lord said, I want you to preach on that. Well, it's going to hit home harder than I know. But you know what? He's right. You know, more often than not, you know, we, we experience troubles. You know, loss of a loved one, loss of a job, you know. And um, a lot of times we just feel like we're in a desperate situation. You know, sometimes, you know, we, we wait on the Lord. We wait on the Lord. We wonder, Lord, where are you? Where are you in all this bit? Where are you at? I seem to be going down and down and down. Where are you at, Lord? And um, the times that I've found, from personal experience, the times that I've found that where I thought he wasn't there, he actually was not only there, but he was carrying me across in more ways than one. You know, um, let's go over what he said. There's nothing like studying the Word of God, man. There's nothing like it. The Lord is saying not to take no thought for your life and what ye shall eat either for the body or what ye shall put on. You know, the Lord provides. Now, this is not scriptural. Somebody told said one time, there's an old saying that, you know, God helps those who help themselves. Now, surely, you know, the Bible talks about a person needs to work, a person needs to do his part, and God will provide, absolutely. But understanding something that, that you know, God cares for his children. In fact, God cares for the world. He, he, the sun shines on not only the righteous, but the unrighteous. And, and, you know, so many things fall off the table for everyone else. It's a trickle-down thing, the blessings. And, you know, even, even those who are enemies of God, believe it or not, God is gracious. And God offers eternal life and forgiveness. And that's the most important thing, because that's the gospel. You know, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, you know, the greatest love of all. And, you know, sometimes we just get in these situations where we start wondering what we're going to do and not focusing on what God can do. You know, the Lord, the Lord works through the brothers and sisters, through, through the church. What is the church? It's not a building. It's the believers. Are you a Christian You're going through some hard times? You know, there is a brotherhood, the brethren, those who really love the Lord. I mean, there I have millions of brothers and sisters out there, tens of millions of them, hundreds of millions of them. But, you know, I don't know how many of them are close to the Lord and love the Lord. Many of them are just skating, whatever, not doing much, but yet they're my brothers and sisters. But there is, there are the brethren out there. And God uses brethren in many ways to bless other brothers. In fact, just the other day, the interesting was last Sunday, I'll tell you a little story. After I got through with my Sunday sermon, I went out and did some street preaching for a little while. And then I went up into Golden Corral. I said, you know what, I need to eat a hot meal. And I was up there and I had my tractor racks, my little gospel tractor racks. And, um... Well, I went in there in line. I gave these two folks behind me gospel tracks. They they were dressed a little differently. I don't know what what they would have. But anyway, I gave them gospel tracks. And after a few minutes, they go, "Hey, man, these are cool." Oh, cool. They're, they're good reading, you know. And I I placed my order. I was going to do the buffet, and the guy said, "No, I'll pay for his meal. I'll pay for his meal." And I'm like, "Wow, really?" He goes, "Yeah, I'll pay for your meal, friend." And I'm like, wow, I just got through street preaching and, and everything else. Sorry about that. And um, he bought me lunch. What a blessing. So, you know, the Lord works, and the Lord uses the brethren to bless other brethren. I know it for a fact. In this ministry right here, I started this ministry back in October 2019. And the, the amount of gospel material that has been sent to me, thousands of dollars worth. Of course, I distribute it and get it out. And, um, you know, getting the message out. And, um, you know, it's it's funny that God has provided that. He has provided practically everything 
including this this little storefront where I live. And I look at that and I say, Lord, thank you so much. And, you know, in life there are ups and downs. And, you know, as a Christian in particular, life will come at you and the devil will come at you, especially with, when, you're, when you love the Lord and you're trying to do something for the Lord. The devil will come at you more often or not in many different ways. And, and he, he, you don't fight fair. He, he hits below the belt sometimes, you know. But the main thing is trusting the Lord when we go through, when we go through these um, valleys, the valleys, the valleys of, valleys of sadness, the valleys of unemployment, the valleys of hopelessness, the penilessness. You know, there's a lot of folks. There's a lot of folks who you know, won't be able to give their kids Christmas. My kids are getting older. They understand. They know what's going on. You know, they get a card and I love you, and that's about all I can do. But you know what? They understand. But you know what? The Lord is going to be there for you. Right about the time that you think that you've lost it all. Lord, where are you? And he lifts you up. But you got to trust him. And sometimes, you know, when we get when we get down, we let the flesh take over. That's the worst thing you can do. Yeah, we need to eat. Yeah, we need a place to stay. Yeah, we need to do all those things. But the fact is this, that we need to trust the Lord. You know, if we're doing what we're supposed to be doing, the Lord's going to bless us. And you know what? He loves us. He loves you. And, you know, if you, if you just, you know, step back a little bit, maybe God is telling you, hey, you need to get into your Bible. I got something to show you. Yeah, you may have lost a job right now. I'll bomb bless you with a better one. But while you've got time, why don't you open up that Bible? I want to show you something. Why don't you study a little bit? Why don't you go out? <laughs> Talk about Jesus a little bit. Why don't you go out and do something? I'll bless you. You know, a lot of folks are hurting. You know, um, of course, you know, a lot of folks, you know, they're out there. They got their little stimulus. One thing I didn't get is a stimulus. I haven't got one stimulus from the government. None. I've had to work this entire... Um, this COVID business since the beginning. But you know what? He's there. Look what the Lord says. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap. For it's neither have a storehouse nor barn. They're scavengers. And God feedeth them. How much more are ye better than the fowls? How much more are we better? If you're if you're a born again believer, you're washed in the blood. You, you're a child of God. And God's going to provide for you. And I firmly believe that if you work hard for the Lord, the payoff because the payoff it's it's about souls, okay, not about funds. Funding is you know you you, you got to have it to survive. The big payoff is the souls. Why? Because people need to get saved. Because once a person passes from life to death, you go to one of two places, heaven or hell, there's no in-between. And there's only one sin, only one thing sends you to hell is rejecting the free gift of salvation that Jesus Christ has for all of humanity, for all who call upon his name. And God became a man, willingly, willingly went to the cross and laid down his life there by trusting in him we can have eternal life, salvation, not earned. It is given. You have to call on him. You need to repent, which means understand you're going down a, a road of destruction. And you need to turn to him. We're going down that highway to hell. You need to take that off ramp to Calvary. That narrow path that leads to eternal life. You need to do that first and foremost, friend. If you're not saved, you need to do that. Let me tell you something. We're all hurting. I'm hurting. I'm praying that the Lord will keep this ministry going and I can find something else. But it's, you know what? And I will. And I will. 
But you know what? It's times like this is when, when we really have to show, show the Lord we got faith, and sometimes we don't. And there's nothing wrong with calling, hollering out to the Lord, Lord, I need more faith. Lord, I need more faith. Amen. The Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Pray for those things and ask God for those things that will make you a better Christian, a better servant of his, a better minister, a better evangelist, a better gospel singer, a better music teacher, or just an all-around better Christian. You get into that Word of God and you study the Word of God, it, it'll change you profoundly. And also, it's the most amazing thing every day. It's, it, it blows my mind every day. The more I read the book, the more I realize how much He loves me, how much He has for me, and for you. If we're willing to take that leap of faith and trust Him. You know, this is not an easy message. I mean, normally I've been, I've been convicted before listening to sermons and some of mine. But having to preach on something after something just happened, that it's important. Because, it, you know, in the past I've had issues. The Lord has seen me through, and I know he's going to see me through. And he'll see you through. You know, sometimes the Lord will put us to the test. Sometimes he's going to, he does that to see how we're going to fare. And it's not about success. God, is, God, God doesn't want you. He he's not going to tell you, well done, good and successful servant. He's going to say, well done, good and faithful servant. Because you kept the faith and you stayed the course and you trusted him. That's what he likes. You know, friend, if you're struggling right now financially, a lot of us are, job-wise or any otherwise, Take it to the Lord. If you're not saved, get saved first. Get, get get right with God, number one. If you're not saved, you're not born again, if you're playing church or doing religion, get right with God. Understand you're a sinner. Realize that Jesus Christ and him and only him can pay for your sins. And turn to him. That's repent and say, Lord Jesus, I believe you died on the cross for my sins. According to the scripture. You were buried and rose again from the dead. According to the scripture, I believe that, Lord Jesus, and right now I ask you to save me. I trust you and you alone for my salvation, and there you go, you're saved. If you haven't done that, friend, you need to do it. I'm not talking religion, I'm talking salvation. The Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That's every human being. That means every human being must get saved. Because we're born with that simple nature. Seriously, friends, if you're hurting right now, you need to put your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. If you're not born again, you're not a Christian, you need to, first of all, get right with God. Get into God's word. God will bless you. He wants to bless you. He wants to bless you most abundantly. Not only with the things needed for life, like, you know, food and clothing and shelter, but he wants to bless you spiritually because... He's got so much more for you, and he's coming. I got treasures in heaven. I have a place. Jesus said, I go and prepare a place for you. You know, for the last 2,000 years, the Lord Jesus Christ, the great carpenter, has been building our places in glory. And if you're born again Christian, you have a place in glory. Did you know that? You sure do. Friend, be of good cheer. The Lord is with you. What must I do to be saved, preacher? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Friends, I'm here to tell you, um, surrendering to the Lord. Put your troubles at his feet. Whatever problems or troubles you've got, friend, you can take it to the cross. Right now, whatever troubles you've got, you might be hurting right now. You might be under the gun right now. I'm here to tell you there's room at the cross. 
And not only for salvation, but you can go and plead the blood of Jesus, sister and brother, over your problems. It's faith, friends. It's real. If you trust the Lord, he'll come through for you. You know, the Bible says, I will provide for all your needs. He will provide for all our needs. Not necessarily our greeds, but he will supply all our needs if you trust him. Friends, this is Brother Leslie Wiles, pastor of King James Bible Baptist Church, 1402 East Fulton Street, Garden City, Kansas. Um, 10.30 is going to be the service. It's now um, right at 10 o'clock. And we'll be having our um, our um, Lord's Supper, which is the first time done here. So just um, pray that the service goes well. And just remember something, friends, okay? Okay, just remember this. God loves you so much. God became a man and paid it all. Jesus paid it all. So you and I wouldn't have to. Folks, I love you in the Lord, and I hope that these messages, these sermons that I have have been a blessing to you. You can find a lot of these sermons online on YouTube. Just type in either my name, Leslie Wilds, or just King James Bible Baptist Church, Garden City, Kansas. Find a picture of me behind the pulpit or something. Just click on that and hit the subscribe button. Okay? You got a friend on Facebook? Send me a friend request. I'd love to see you. And if you need any prayer or anything like that, I'd love to pray for you. I'll take prayer, prayer requests too. Be of good cheer, friends. Be of good cheer. And remember this. The Lord is coming soon. Keep looking up. Okay? Keep looking up. For our redemption, draw us nigh. Folks, I love you in the Lord, and I thank you for this time, and I hope you have a great week, and I hope to see you next week, okay? May the Lord richly bless you all, friends, and remember, he's coming. Keep looking up. Peace.